Hey everyone, alright, today we're going to learn the proper way to use an analytical balance. So, although it may seem easy, there are a lot of ways to mess up your measurements, and if your measurements do mess up, that might give you really skewed data. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your balance is clean, and if it's not clean, it's going to give you a wrong measurement for how much mass you actually do have on it. So if you can come here and just check, we just cleaned it and the balance part is actually perfectly clean. Okay, so the second thing we want to do is tear it. So we're going to tar it, and what that means is you put... So we have our gram of sample and our cup, and both the cups weigh the same mass, and because we only want the mass of the sample, we have to deduce the mass of the cup. So what we first do is put the cup onto the balance, and see it starts weighing it. So it's about 3.3 grams. And so when it stabilizes, so around now, we're going to hit the tar button. Whoa. And we're going to wait a second. Um, analytical balance is tar. So now we can remove this. And then we're measuring our sample of just an unknown chemical. And so what we're doing is we're putting it on the balance, and then we want to make sure all the doors are closed because that makes sure no wind distorts the mass. So now we're again going to wait for it to settle down. And so it's around. You don't have to wait for the end to be perfect because these are millions and billions. So all you really need to do is just wait for the first ones to be around the same. And since it's stabilized, it's 7.587 grams. So now, lastly, you want to take off be careful and take off your sample and you want to be sure to tar it again so the person that uses it after you knows that it's zero and doesn't have to redo anything. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Thank you.